Hi friends, I am starting an experiment to grow Roma tomatoes in Aero Garden Bounty. These plants will grow up to 5 feet. Let's see if I can manage them under 2 feet. I am planning to grow 2 plants in this bounty. So I am starting with 2 pods and 3 seeds in each pod. That's it. I will add the water, I will not add the nutrition, I will add the nutrition once I see the seedlings. It's day 5, I got pretty good germination, I have 2 seedlings here and uh, 3 seedlings here. I will let them grow a little bit and uh, take out the excess seedlings. It's day 6, the seedlings have been growing very nice. Now I will take out the excess seedlings and keep only one plant per pod. Just gently pulling it. Alright, I removed the excess seedlings. Now I have only one plant per pod. Since the seedlings are big enough, I am going to start adding the nutrition. I am adding nutrition as Aero Garden recommended. That is 12 ml with every feeding cycle. Day 12. The seedlings are growing very nice. There's a lot of development with real leaves. Day 17. The Roma tomato plants are growing really nice. They are about 3 inches tall. I see the stems are coming pretty nice and strong. These plants are developing some side branches as well. So far it is all going great. It's day 20. The plants are growing excellent. The side branches are growing very well. The plants are about 4 inches at the moment. It's day 24. The plants are doing excellent. I see flower buds started developing on one plant. They are extremely small. It's pretty hard to catch. But I see them. No flower buds yet on this plant. But I am hoping this plant also will get flower buds pretty soon. It's day 25. I see the flower buds on both plants. This is very exciting. I also see the side branches are coming very nice on both plants. There are multiple side branches and all of them are growing very nice. The plants are only 7 inches tall at this point. It's day 31. The plants are growing excellent. They are getting big and they are becoming bushy. The flower buds are still growing. I don't see any signs of blooming yet. I see a few more flower buds on both plants. So far it's all going very good. The plants are getting very bushy. They are getting overcrowded. So it's time to start pruning some of the leaves. So I'm going to remove some of the bottom leaves. That way I can create enough airflow. I am going to remove these bottom leaves. Anyway, they are not getting any light. So it's totally worth removing these leaves. It is so easy to remove the leaves. I prefer to remove only few leaves, two to three leaves at a time so that plants don't get a lot of shock. Now they are looking better. There is no overcrowding. I think this gives enough airflow. It's day 36. Plants are doing excellent. They are about one and a half feet tall now. Today I see the first flower. Some more flower birds are getting ready to bloom. It's day 42. The plants are doing excellent. I see bunch of flowers bloomed. Some flowers started closing up.
I see the stem on some of the flowers is yellow. Oh, okay, so these flowers are not surviving. Oh. I see same thing here as well. The stem of this flower is also yellow. Maybe this is also dying. But this one is pretty good. I see the flower dried up, but the stem is pretty green. So this must be surviving. Normally I don't pollinate the tomato flowers because tomato flowers are uh, full flowers. They have male and female pollen. They should be able to take care of themselves. But uh, these flowers doesn't seem to be taking care of themselves. So I'm using a electric toothbrush to help pollinate these flowers. That's it. Let's see if they can survive and produce some tomatoes. It's day 43. I see some more flowers fully bloomed. So I'm pollinating these flowers. I'll be repeating this pollination process on all the flowers every day as long as they are open. This flower just fell off. I think this is the pollination issue. So I'm going to pollinate all the flowers as long as they are open. It's day 45. I see nice baby tomatoes forming here. I have one here that is pretty visible and a couple of more forming here. They are not visible yet but uh, the flower dried up completely and uh, I can see the baby tomato is growing inside. The plant is still under two feet. It is pretty manageable so far but uh, it's pretty close. A bunch of uh, flower birds coming at the top. Let's see where will it end up. It's day 50. The plants are growing very nice. The tomatoes are getting into nice shape. I have raised the lights to the maximum height. I don't have any more room. The plants have already reached to the lights. It is going to be a problem from now on because I can't raise the lights anymore. So I'm going to cut the tops to keep the plants under one and a half feet. I see a lot of new development coming from the bottom. I'm not sure if these branches will grow and produce some tomatoes. I will wait and see. But uh, since I'm seeing a lot of new development, I'm going to cut the tops probably here so that I can make some room. I see a lot of new development coming and uh, the new flower buds are coming at the very top of the branch. So I'm going to sacrifice some of the flower buds but that's fine. All right, here they are after pruning. I have removed a couple of branches and lots of leaves. Now I see there is a lot of room and the light is going to all the leaves on the plant. Having lot of leaves at the top will block the light going on to the bottom leaves. So the coverage will be pretty less. So this way the light is spreading onto most of the leaves on the plant. This will definitely boost the photosynthesis process and help developing the tomatoes better. It's day 53. The tomatoes are growing very nice. I have five tomatoes growing in one plant and uh, two tomatoes growing on the other plant. These are the flowers I recently pollinated but they didn't survive. I see this issue a lot with Roma tomatoes. Lot of flowers are just dying. They are blooming and I am pollinating and still not able to survive. It's been four to five days. I did a huge trim on this plant. I see a lot of new growth. All these branches are new branches. They are coming very fresh and healthy. And this new development is all over the plants. It's day 62. The tomatoes are growing very nice. They are looking exactly like a pear. So this plant still have only two tomatoes. The other plant has four tomatoes here and there's one more just getting started here. 
it's day 63 while tomatoes are growing well i see one tomato getting rot usually this happens due to the deficiency of calcium or magnesium i have this calmag which is calcium and magnesium supplement i am going to start adding this it's day 77 the tomatoes have stopped growing big i also noticed that they are changing the color they used to be dark green now they are looking pretty light looks like they are preparing to ripen i see some new tomatoes developing as well there's one here and there's one more here one baby coming here the plants have outgrown so big so i trimmed heavily last night now they are looking like this i cut most of the stems i see a lot of new development coming i don't think i will get tomatoes on these branches but at least like there are leaves that will help photosynthesis it's day 81 some tomatoes started ripening that's really good news while this is good news i don't see any other tomatoes coming up on these plants so that's pretty disappointing i'm sure these plants will do better in soil but uh, being in aero garden and i am forced to cut all the tops i don't see a lot of tomatoes i'm not really giving any chance to the plants because most of the flowering happening on the edges like this because i'm cutting all the tops the plant is not really getting a lot of opportunities i still see some tomatoes here and there but not a lot i don't think this variety is the right choice to grow in aero garden but let's see it's day 85 the tomatoes are ripening very well four tomatoes are ripening now the other tomatoes are still green these tomatoes that are ripening are not as big as the other tomato they are not even the same size compared to the tomatoes i find in stores but they are pretty good they are pretty good in size the new tomatoes are still growing the plant keep on growing tall and i am cutting the tops but definitely i didn't cut the tops aggressively and i let the plant grow all the way to the lights so i learned a lot while growing roma tomatoes in aero garden bounty about aggressive pruning and i applied all those learnings while i am growing the same variety in mars hydro with that i am able to keep the plants under one and a half feet and the plants are doing really well they are producing a lot of flower birds flowers and now they started producing baby tomatoes all while keeping the plants under one and a half feet it's day 89 the tomatoes are ripening very well one just fell off as i am moving it around the remaining tomatoes are still getting ready to ripe the babies are going nice one here, one here and two here i don't see a lot of flower birds these days there are only few flower birds coming and some of them are actually just drying up they are not turning into flowers but i see few more here just coming up let's see if any of these will survive these tomatoes are looking pretty soft i think i should harvest these look at this it looks beautiful it's not that huge but uh, it is definitely double the size of a standard cherry tomato and it looks pretty beautiful here is my first harvest it's day 95 i see another tomato started ripening this is the first tomato it took a lot of time but it finally started ripening it's day one or two the plants are doing great two tomatoes are ready to harvest today here they are looking great it's day 123 some tomatoes are ripening well and some tomatoes are growing very nice 
but somehow the plants are not looking healthy at all these days. I'm adding the right amount of nutrition and I'm also changing the water frequently, but still the plants are not looking healthy at all. So these unhealthy plants and their extremely low productivity, even when they were very healthy, is making me very unhappy and I'm going to discontinue this garden now. I'm not going to grow this Roma variety again in Aero Garden or any of my hydroponics and I don't recommend it. It is not worth the time, resources and the effort. Even half of the tomatoes I got are not tasty and they are not juicy at all. That is all for now. Thanks for watching and happy Aero Gardening.